Luxury is a great intangible. There's no formal test to detect it or means of measuring it. It's nothing but an impression and, as such, can lack real substance. But BMW's new 2016 7 Series has plenty of substance, starting with the very substances from which it's constructed. In one of the more startling cross-planations in the car business, BMW is applying lessons learned from the i3 and the i8 to its new luxury flagship. The 2016 7 Series boasts what is probably the closest thing yet to mainstream application of structural carbon fiber. It's debatable just how mainstream $90,000 luxury sedans are. Cast carbon fiber panels are bonded over steel in the B-Ink pillars, as well as the center tunnel, adding stiffness and strength. The parcel shelf behind the rear seats is a cast carbon panel. Sturdy woven tubes stiffen the sills and form the longitudinal roof rails reaching from the A-pillars back to the seas. The roof bows are also carbon fiber. Forming so much of the upper structure from the lightweight material helps drop the center of gravity compared with the outgoing car. You can read more about the new structure in our 7 Series prototype drive story. Carbon fiber isn't the lone lightweight material in the 7. The doors, both the inner and outer panels, as well as the crash structure inside, and the trunk lid are made from aluminium, as are the front and rear shock towers. The dash support is a magnesium casting spanning the width of the firewall. BMW says it trimmed 88 pounds from just the body in white, while dropping 190 from the car as a whole. She blinded me with luxury, customers of a non-technical bent will find plenty to appreciate, as well. We in the United States will no longer have the option of buying a short wheelbase 7 series as the company will be following Mercedes-Benz's lead and importing only the stretched version of its flagship sedan. Since they'll all be long, they'll no longer have L's in their badges, they're just 740i, 750i, and so on. That long wheelbase car is more than an inch longer than before, and it offers more rear seat legroom than anything else in its class. Beyond the available dual seat back mounted entertainment screens, Two packages amp up the rear seat luxury. The luxury rear seating pack adds heated and ventilated seats in the back, as well as heated armrests, an 8 program massage function with three intensity levels, and a removable 7.0 inch Samsung tablet offering rear seat passengers full control over the iDrive infotainment functions. If that's not enough, the rear executive lounge package allows the right rear passenger to fold the front passenger seat nice and tight against the dash, fold out of power operated footrest from its back, and recline his or her own seat up to 43 degrees. An airplane style fold out table completes the vibe. Other standard and optional luxury goods include a trunk that opens when you wave your foot under the rear bumper, wireless phone charging, a Mercedes-style scent diffuser that can be loaded with two perfumes at a time, a key with a smartphone esc gorilla glass screen that can tell you if you locked the car and closed the windows even though the car will sense rain and shut the windows and sunroof automatically or how long it is until you next oil change. In other markets, the key also will control the car's automatic parallel and perpendicular parking function from outside the car. But since our lawyers can out-litigate their lawyers, American drivers will have to remain in their seats for that show. Neither will we get the laser headlights that are available elsewhere. U.S. parkers will be able to enjoy the new surround view parking aid, which goes above the recent spate of bird's eye systems and generates a fabulously detailed third-person view of the car and its surroundings, which should greatly ease parking for avid video gamers. Any button that looks metallic is real metal, which head designer Kareem Habib points out means that they'll be cool on cold days, warm on warmer days, and will burn off your fingerprints on scorching hot days to aid your latent career in safety breaking. Okay, we made up that last bit. Unlock the doors, and LEDs shine on the ground a pattern that BMW calls LED light carpet. Habib says it's meant to evoke a red carpet 
because entering a 7 series is cause for celebration. If that's the case, they're missing the champagne fridge. And the car is now a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. Connect your phone, and you can use it to stream video to the entertainment screens. We have seen the future, and it is frivolous. Keep your jokes to yourself. The most frivolous feature of all, though, is BMW's new gesture control, which recognizes five different gestures. Pointing at the iDrive screen accepts an incoming phone call. Swiping a hand left or right denies the call, surely a natural gesture for 7 Series owners who are accustomed to dismissing servants, insubordinate children, and disobedient spouses and ex-spouses with a similar wave of the hand. Twirling a finger clockwise turns the radio up, and twirling it counterclockwise turns it down. A toe finger point can be programmed to do any number of things, start navigation to your favorite dubs, call your favorite paramour, tune the radio to the paramour's favorite radio station, navigate to the nearest Ritz Carlton for a rendezvous, whatever. BMW swears that, once you're used to gesture control, You'll wonder how you ever did without. But we found it lacking in precision. How many degrees do I need to twirl my finger to turn up the volume? Three steps question mark and for others who are similarly unimpressed, BMW retains the usual I drive buttons, central controller, and voice controls. Plus that optional tablet in the rear seat. Because buyers accustomed to golden parachutes don't tolerate inadequate backup plans more decisions, you also have choices when it comes to actually driving the car. There's not a single major component of the suspension that isn't adjustable. Air springs are just right height according to load, vehicle setting, and speed, while adaptive dampers and anti-roll bars vary the ride between soft and firm. The newly available Active Comfort Drive reads the road ahead with a stereoscopic camera and adjusts dampers in anticipation of irregularities. Not even the rear wheel toe angle is fixed, as BMW's rear wheel steering is for the first time available with all-wheel drive. In Comfort Plus, the squishiest of the suspension settings, the 7 Series surrenders to a surprisingly Lincoln-like float healing over in turns and generally betraying all of the brand's core beliefs. We can't imagine many returning BMW customers engaging that one, but the option might ease the transition for those downgrading from Rolls Royces. Even regular comfort struck us as rather soft, although in a less heretical way, and it might entice customers more accustomed to, say, a Mercedes class. Sport is the true BMW setting nicely balancing control with comfort. We'd leave it in that mode unless we were trying to rock a baby to sleep. Monty Double Bass, Sport Mode also was our choice for tearing around New York's Monticello Motor Club racetrack, yes, we tracked this $100,000 luxury sedan. It's lively enough for a 4,650 pound, 17 foot long thing, and it feels largely neutral since full lift weight distribution seems to be the most sacrosanct of BMW's tenets. This one actually is a forward bias, with 54% of the car's mass riding up front. It's easy to adjust your line with throttle, and, although the car feels nimble, its 126.4 inches of wheelbase mean you don't have to worry about it rotating any faster than you'd anticipated. The brakes are strong and progressive, but the pedal is rather soft, and got softer as the laps progressed. The steering is responsive and linear but light on feel, which engineers tell us is intentional, as the typical 7 Series customer finds the little twitches and tugs emblematic of good steering to be annoying. Makes sense to us, long wheelbase luxury barges are parked on the other side of the pit wall. Even this one was competent but not thrilling. It will do what the driver asks of it, but we never stopped wondering why we were asking it to do those things. BMW's 4.4-litre twin-turbo V8 is largely unchanged. A high point bump in compression ratio from 10 to 1 to 10.5 to 1 is claimed to yield a small increase in fuel economy, 
output output stands patted 445 horsepower and 480 lbft of torque. The latter now peaks 200 revolutions per minute earlier, at 1800 instead of 2000. It's a strong, smooth engine and, with the same ZF8 speed automatic shuffling the gears, whisks the 750iX drive to 60 miles per hour in a claim 4.3 seconds. We figure that's conservative, however, and predict a sub for second sprint. Sound unlikely. Consider that such a time would merely tie it with the Audi A8 L4.0 T we tested in 2013. What drives you? Or if you don't want to drive, BMW's traffic jam assistant will do it for you, although it's not supposed to. It will stay between lane lines or follow the car ahead, but if you take your hands off the wheel for more than 15 seconds, it will be put you to take over and turn itself off. Fine, you don't want to drive? Me, neither. And then tree branches and truck bumpers and little old ladies come rushing through the windshield. A car that drives for you might be the luxury of tomorrow, but as far as the luxury of today is concerned, the 7 Series expanded individual program offers all anyone could want, contrast stitching, quilting, piping and matching and contrasting colors, and that's just on the seats. Add in all the rest of the safety, tech, and luxury features, and the 7 Series owner will want for nothing. The 740i will start at $82,295, while the 750i X drive like we drove will start at $98,395. A rear drive 750i will rejoin the lineup later, as will a four cylinder plug in hybrid. The diesel 740d, V12 powered 760i. And another Alpina B7 with overlapping output haven't been officially confirmed but will almost certainly appear in another year or so. Luxury might be hard to pin down, but if you measure it by the length of the list of features and choices available, the new BMW 7 Series definitely delivers it in spades.